All right, sorry about that. Uh, video ended on me while I was getting this ready, but I took uh, took a little piece of Scotch Brite and used hemostats, put them in the seats, spun them, cleaned them. This one, number two, has definitely got something cut in there. It's almost like somebody took a drill bit to it. That kind of ticks me off because this may or may not seal properly. And the only way to find out is put it together. Um, number one looks great. Uh, one thing I want to note, if you're using an ultrasonic or uh, if you're just soaking these in old school carburetor cleaner or whatever you're doing, once you get done, the thing is cleaned, you're putting it back together, this butterfly shaft right here. One thing that I was taught that really helps, um, and I'll show you what I use. Um, I use an Amsoil metal protector just because I'm experienced with it and I like it. Uh, I'm not making any money from using this or whatever the clauses may be or whatever, but this is just my suggested product. You can use anything that dissipates moisture and lubricates, <coughs> penetrating oil, um, anything like that will work, WD-40, whatever. But take a little bit and put right there, turn it this way, and I'll spin this shaft. And I do just do this back and forth many, many times. And what it does is that oil will creep down into the body and it eventually will come out the other end of the shaft. But it just kind of helps lubricate it. And you spin it over and you do the same thing on the other side. So it can get some there. If, once you have put your lubricant in there and you can actually see if my camera will cooperate. I'm going to tell you, this thing is really being a pain. I was going to show you, I could actually see a little bit of the lubricant coming out the other sides of the shaft. Ah, there you go. You can see a little bit there. And so that actually worked its way through the body of the carburetor and come out this side. So, still got a little bit of a squeak, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was. And the more it turns, that oil will disperse and will help keep that shaft from getting stuck. And you don't want to get stuck at wide open throttle. But anyways, so what I'm going to go on to next, if you remember these little gaskets, we're going to reuse these. Uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with these. And I think they'll hold up just fine. So we're going to place these back on here. You've got two little and cast in little locator pins. Um, you got one here, one here. And just kind of set it on there. Make sure you're pressed all the way down. Take our plate. And we're going to get our screws. And the screws look like. Let me lay these out and verify, I guess. Yep. So on these, they're all the same length. Sometimes it's not the case, sometimes it is. This is very interesting doing this one-handed while holding the camera. It's amazing what you have to change in order to do this. I guess while I'm tightening these down, I can give you a little backstory on myself. I am 
a recently certified Tahatsu outboard mechanic. I got certified um, uh, January of 17. I absolutely love them. I think they're a great engine. And customer support and tech support. These guys are awesome. Um, the place I work at is a dealer for uh, outboards. And I, I just I think they're awesome. Um, okay, so as I was rambling on, um, just like anything else, you know, head bolts, uh, any any kind of uh, exhaust manifold, plate, um, anything you've got a torque sequence. Um, with these, it's, it's, it's no different. Um, I want this one uh, to come down snug, this one, this one, and this one. Don't know if that's the proper method. That's the way I'm doing it. It's not entirely critical, but it's good practice. So I'm just going to snug them up, and then I actually went back to each one and really tighten them down. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. So you get to hear me ramble a little bit more. Uh, and this gasket looks good too. Remember your locator pins. Make sure it's clean. And of course, make sure you blow them out.